Let's take a look at slightly more complicated algebraic equations where the variable, or letter, appears more than once in the equation. For instance, 5y plus 10 equals 3y plus 20. When we have equations like this, the way to solve them is to get all the variables, in this case the y's, on one side of the equation, and all of the numbers or constants on the other side. So with this equation, we can start by getting all the y's together. Now it doesn't actually matter which side of the equation you get the y's on, as you'll always come to the same answer if you follow the correct procedure. However, you might find it a little easier if you keep the y's positive. So it's usually best to subtract the smallest number of y's from the largest number. In this case, subtracting the 3y from the 5y like this. 5y minus 3y plus 10 equals 3y minus 3y plus 20. This will give us 5y minus 3y plus 10 on the left hand side, which is the same as 2y plus 10, and 3y minus 3y plus 20 on the right hand side, which is the same as 0 plus 20, or just 20. So 2y plus 10 equals 20. And then it becomes easy, we just subtract 10 from both sides. 2y plus 10 minus 10 equals 20 minus 10, to give us 2y equals 10. And then to get from two lots of y to just one, we divide by two. 2y divided by two equals 10 divided by two, to get our final answer of y equals five. And remember, you can always plug your answer back into the equation to make sure you've got it right.